I haven't used colouring in pencils for a while, so here we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like my light is buzzing. So uh, once again, I was just strolling through a craft store. Well, it's actually technically not a craft store. It's actually an office supply shop here in Australia. We've actually got these stores called Officeworks. And my understanding of Officeworks is I thought it just sold stuff like office equipment, chairs, and all that sort of stuff for businesses. But what I didn't know is you can go there and you can buy art supplies such as Copics, these, anything to do with pens, pencils. Like I couldn't believe it. Like I honestly did not realize that Officeworks sold all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty good store, especially if you live in Australia. I actually don't know if Officeworks is anywhere else in the world. Let's Google it. I, I'm curious. Office works is only here in Australia. Okay, there you go. I've learned something tonight. <laughs> yeah, so I got these pens. I got these pencils. What what appealed to me the most was well, for starters, they were only seven dollars. And if anything is cheap, I'm gonna buy it because I am broke. I have no money. And the cool thing about this is they've got these little. It reckons this little grippy little grippy things on the pencils so that's gonna be pretty cool if that is what they have so um, yeah I've never seen these before they were cheap that's why I got them so let's unbox these little babies oh. I hope this is how you get in there oh Ooh. oh there we go Ooh. oh I like that one. Oh, ho ho oh they're like a cool shape if you can see that like a triangular shape so they don't roll away that, that's actually a pretty good idea and they don't have a grip on them where did it, maybe they don't have a grip on it maybe I was looking at something else but I thought they said that they were grippy I must have just imagined it oh, unlike me well, that's pretty cool I like the little design and if you can see that hopefully it's in focus some cool little designs there. This Norris color, I don't know what Norris means. I haven't googled them so I have no idea. So the, the main aim for me tonight, because I'm doing this at night, will draw something and then color them in with these pencils just to see um, what they're like pretty much. So I drew this picture earlier already got this made out because I'm in a bit of an art funk at the moment and I haven't been producing anything that I even remotely like lately and I haven't even be able, been able to think of things to make or draw um, so I'm just sort of a little bit depressed at the moment so this I pre-drew this because I knew if I did it on camera it was not going to happen very well um, and it's something like I was afraid that it was not gonna flow and they're doing this at the night time I just wanted to get into it um, I don't want to be up until all hours of the night because I haven't been sleeping well lately either so um, yeah I just pre-drew this and um, yeah I'll put that down and we'll get my liner I'm actually gonna use my 05 precision pen for this um, outline. I hope I don't screw any of this up. Like I said, I've just had massive art block lately and yeah, I'm a little depressing me a little bit. Yeah, what made me sort of do this video was um, I wanted to get some coloring in pencils because the whole craze that's, you know, been and gone, um, or it's probably still around, is the Color Me Happy books where you buy a colouring in book if you're feeling depressed or or anxious and you can just, you know, colour to make yourself feel better. So that was like, cause I'm feeling a little bit down at the moment, so I thought, well, I'll get some colouring in pencils and I'll do some colouring and maybe I might colour all my worries away. <laughs> Not likely. 
but there is no harm in trying. I'm not real good with hair. That's another thing I've really got to work on is hair. I'm doing my famous little stitches across the mouth, which I like to do on pretty much all my drawings. And I don't apologize for that. I really struggled with this shoe. I really couldn't find any references on the angle that I wanted her foot to be. So I just, you know, did this and hoped that it was going to look all right. I think I rubbed it out about 20 times just trying to get it right. <laughs> And I just, in the end, I just went, no, that's it. I'm just not rubbing out anymore. Colouring pencils won't actually make these pens here bleed. Like watercolours do or some pens. Get my kneaded eraser. Since I discovered these, uh, this has just been the best thing ever. I'm never going back to a normal eraser. Missed anything? Not rub anything out? No. I might do. Let's do some little thingies first. I hope we can blend these. So let's see. It's blending in pretty good. Look, my favorite color. Better keep it out. I definitely want to try and incorporate this color. I love teal. Actually, a sort of a skin tone color. Hmm, there you go. I've really no plans on using it. It's the next test. Let's see if these right over the top. We have black pen goes straight over the top of them, so that's good. I think I might go in and do her skin blue. We'll start off light and we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I sort of wanted to give her a um, a corpse bride look. But actually, I might test that theory. Oh, there you go. Needed a razor. Rubs this pen out. I wouldn't say it's like... Oh no, no, that's actually pretty good. That's actually rubbing it out really well. Like a lead pencil. I must admit, like my journey so far after deciding to do this YouTube channel has been a massive learning curve. I cannot believe what I have learned um, since doing it. Um, my art has definitely improved more. Um, and if you haven't actually watched any of my other videos, I actually talk about how I had a massive break. Um, from drawing for a very 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 long time I actually thought it was three years I actually went back and thought about it I actually haven't really drawn for about five five to six years was my last um, was when I actually was drawing all the time <laughs> and I couldn't believe it I'm like no wonder no wonder my skills have massively slipped no, I'm I'm quite happy that I've decided to um, to get back into this. Um, but I have learned I have learned a lot. Like it's just been such a good thing to do, um, and it's definitely concreted in my mind that this is what I want to do um, as a career is to make money doing what I like to do and that is creating things um, creating things such as um, with my Etsy store I do gothic horror toys um, in felt and um, in minky um, materials Ooh. sorry about that my camera just died ran out of space I had to delete things I have no idea what I was talking about yeah, I'd learnt, I'd learnt a fair bit from doing this YouTube channel and yeah, realising that what I want to do in life is, um, yeah, is do my art. I'm sick of, I'm actually sick of the job that I'm in now. 
Um, it's sort of that's probably the reason why I'm in a bit of a funk as well, is because um, my current day job that I'm doing is depressing the absolute shit out of me. Um, I have been in that job for 13 years now, and it's just time for a change. Um, and it's not a good position to be in. I haven't really felt like doing a lot of things. And then, like, the last thing I want to do is come home and do this. But I have no choice. Like, I, I would like to relax. But it, to make this work, I really have to, um, you know, do this at night. Um, do it on my days off and weekends. Um, which is draining, but um, yeah, I, ha I have to do it if I want this to work. Uh, so I'm just going over with another colour. Oh, one thing I have learnt is you pick a point where the light is shining and you shade the, the thing that you're drawing according to that. So um, really the, um, having the light sort of come in from this direction for there so I'm going to leave that there and rub it out later so I remember because I'm pretty hopeless at remembering things I must admit I do like working at nights um, I am a bit of a night owl but I, sometimes I can produce some of my best work at night it's just amazing I actually um, recommend doing a challenge where you draw every day for at least 30 days at least because if you want to be an artist um, you really have to do it to improve yourself um, it's just what you've got to do what it, what I actually came out of it with was actually drawing every day um, and I will find the time every day I will find the time to draw even if it's just a quick little sketch um, you know not much at all still do it because it sort of gets you gets the wrist all loosened up and gets you back on the track that you need to be on still learning to blend with these pencils Oh, yeah, another thing I forgot to mention about these pens too is they reckon that they're really hard to break. They're anti-break. We'll see. I'm the queen of breaking things. Is there a grey in this pack? Oh, there is. Look at that. Right there. I really don't know if it was a good idea to do her, her teal on her face. I go over it with a pink. It gets worse before it gets better, right? <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to be up most of the night shading this in. Ow! I'm just tearing up the pages now. Like I can't go over this mouth anymore because the paper is just ripping. That was actually quite interesting sharpening a triangle pencil. It did it, but it was weird. Nearly finished. I'm adding some scratchy effects to everything. With some eyelashes. I realised I didn't give her some eyelashes. I'm just going to give her a little bit. I'm going to see if my gel pen will write over the top. My uniball. Big no. It's definitely not doing anything. Yep, yeah, nope, this is definitely not writing over. It's definitely not writing over the pencil. A bit of a disappointment because I was actually relying on this pen to give me the white highlights and it's let me down. And I don't even know why I'm still writing with it. I think I need to invest in a better gel pen. Put some blood on her shirt. 
not good with backgrounds, so I'm just going to colour in the floor. So I have finally finished. So I've got to work on a little bit of the shading. Um, yeah, I'm going to, once again, I'm going to continue learning how to use these because, yeah, I've got a lot of a lot of um, things to learn about this. So I might go and watch a few tutorials on how to actually use and shade with pencils so I can get a little bit better at this because I actually really enjoyed that this was really, really fun. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with, um, with how they turned out. I was actually really worried because these were just cheap. Um, they look expensive and they feel expensive, but they were six, sorry, seven, they were seven dollars a packet. And like I easily saw more expensive pencils on the shelf that were like 20, 30, 40 dollars. And honestly, I'm quite impressed with these. Like these, these are a nice pencil to use. If you're interested in um, getting these, um, I will leave a, um, a link below um, where to get them from. It was quite therapeutic, very therapeutic. I definitely enjoyed coloring in. But right, well, that's me done. I am going to bed because it is very, very late and I, I just need to turn my brain off big time. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.